Good morning everyone, I've just finished milking, cows are on the way to their paddock. Doug turned up yesterday afternoon, he bought the tractor around with the rammer on it. It actually looks like a new rammer and tractor, maybe he's borrowing it off someone, I'm not too sure. But now I need to go and get some posts and lay them out for him, I'm not quite sure what time he's turning up. Dad did a bit of a post run yesterday, I'm just going to take these up now, Doug's actually just rung and said he's up there, got one strainer, might take one more I think and then that should be sweet for up there. Take some wire up with me. I know there's a few bits over here. That one looks new. Morning, Doug. New tractor. Oh yeah, I've had it a while. And new post driver. Yeah, well, yeah. Is that yours? Oh, sort of. Borrowing it? Oh, yeah, borrowing off the other neighbours. Oh, fair enough. Nah, the guys that bought our farm. Oh, yeah? They, um, they brought off a mate of theirs for 10 grand. Oh, it yeah. seems alright for that. It was so cheap they couldn't fling it, but they never, they never haven't got time to use it or they haven't got a tractor to put it on. So. Oh, is that your tractor? Yeah. Oh, right. Uh, I'll, stick it on, I'll stick it on my tractor and I'll just, when I do work for them, I don't charge them for the tractor for the, or anything. So. Yeah, for the hire. Oh, yeah, yeah. fair enough. That's all the posts we need up there, so I thought I'll come and drop the bundle off down at this fence line that we're going to do. I need to actually pull that down today. Doug said it'll take about half a day up there. And then he'll be down here, so I've got a few hours. It shouldn't take too long though. I've got a couple more strainers for up there. I think I only need two, but I've got three. There. I also found some insulators and a box full of staples. I'm gonna grab one of these gates as well. This one looks pretty good, so that can. Oh, look at that! Even slot straight on. That one can go. I think I use these three here for the calf shed, so I don't want to use them. That one looks all good. That gate's actually about two feet short for in there. It sort of only comes up to there, and I need it to come across, but. It's all I have, so I'll use what I've got. Sounds pretty hard, eh? <laughs> it's, it's struggling to get these posts in. I don't think it'd be too bad up here. That strain is pointed too, which makes it a little bit easier. 
Not far away though. This paddock wasn't quite ready to be grazed. I usually fence it up the middle, get two days, but I'm only putting in, the, in there for one day because I'm actually going to under sow this one in Mohaka. It's getting a little bit patchy all along this hillside here, so in the next day or two the drill's going to be here and I've just sent them in there to try and try and deck it, clean it up a little bit, give the, give the new seed a good chance to come up. I'm not actually sure how there's power on that fence. I think it comes from down the hill here across so after I take these handles off, I'm hoping that it's going to kill the power, but I'll soon find out. Got my handy dandy fence meter here. So I'm hoping that nothing shows up on the screen. Oh, it's still going. Alright, oh, where's that coming from? I think it must be coming down the hill there. Because it goes around the duck pond down that way. Which is pretty easy. I should be able to just untie it at the trees there. Which I'll have a look at soon, but I've actually come up here because I'm going to pull these staples out of all these battens here. Doug mentioned he wants to take this top wire off and fix this fence up as well. Might as well make it look nice. We're going to put a hot wire on the top there which will be perfect. Means we don't have to run a reel around when the bulls are in here. So I think that's a great idea. These things are called easy pull. These are brilliant for taking staples out. All you do is put them through like that and then see how it's got a bit of a hook on one end. You can sort of lean on it and they come out just like that. When you're doing heaps of them, these are the tool to use. Not a fan of barbed wire, there's one on the bottom there, but that can stay. It's not doing any harm down there. Starting to look pretty good though. It's gonna be so good having this gate in here. Check that out. Awesome. And this fence line's taking shape too. Dad's off to spread some fertiliser which is pretty handy, that's the first load of the autumn stuff going on and then hopefully once he runs out of there he's going to go and get another load so I can do some later on. Man, plans change around here pretty quick, so this gate down the bottom there, he's actually going to go and get a new one, he said, uh, he said that was all good so I'm going to go and pick up a 16 footer to put there which will make things good and also I am pulling this barbed wire off the bottom here because I've, I've undone the rest of the wires, we're gonna actually pull all these posts up and get it sitting nice. We'll probably pull them up and drive them back in. Maybe if there's the odd one, which we need to put a new one on, uh, but we're also gonna match the spacings up to, to match this, which are five meters. So everything's gonna look pretty good once it's, once it's done, but all this needs to be done today because the cows are gonna go up here in the morning, which should be pretty easy. Doug said he's just gonna uh, get it all done and then he's not going to worry about starting down the bottom there, he might get onto that tomorrow morning, no he will get onto that tomorrow morning but yeah, no matter what time he finishes he's uh, he's not going to start down there. He's also whacking a few new posts in around the place where there are broken one which is pretty handy, Doug's really good like that, if he sees something that's not right he'll go and fix it, he doesn't need to be told which is which is really awesome, so he is a, he is a dairy farmer himself or he was a dairy farmer back in the day can't remember when he stopped milking cows, it would have been a while ago though. Originally I thought I was just going to take this fence straight through to the road up there instead of hooking on to the other one. And the reason being was that once we upgrade the cow shed at some point, I'm not sure when it's going to be, hopefully next season, depends on the pay up, 
we'll actually lose this entrance through here and we do bring gear through there because the pit's got to come out it's going to take up yeah sort of where where we drive so my plan was that instead of coming in the tanker track we can come through this race here and it would actually make quite a good race for vehicles and stuff like it's wide enough uh, but there's just a little bit of a dodgy corner where we've sort of hooked up to that old fence but when it comes to it and we do need to use it and that corner is a little bit annoying we can always just take it out and go straight through or move up that hill a little bit more but it's probably right how it is like it is pretty wide through there so it should be sweet it's just really like truck and trailer units that would be would be the worry and we don't really get too many of them it would just be if we were cart like topping up races with rod and rock or whatever but here yeah, we'll get to that point when it comes it's yeah, no urgency to, to fix that. This is where I think that other... I think if I cut that, it'll stop that fence from, from going. So we'll see what happens. Oh, hopefully these handles are plastic enough. There we go. Shouldn't be any power on here. Bingo. This is going to be where the line starts. I'm going to stick a strainer in there, come out, corner this off. I'm going to three wire fence this pond. At the moment, it's just single wire fenced around here, electric fenced, and, and down the drain there. Well, there wasn't pre existing fence there, but yeah, a couple of wires are probably gone. Uh, and what I'm planning to do is come out from this Waratah, but we're going to put proper posts in there and come straight through here and cut this off. It's not very productive land, you can't get like the tractor in here to mow it and it's going to look much better once this is sort of established and, and other plants or natives. It'll probably go just under the base of the tree there to, to that post and then straight through join up to the other and then down the drain. It'll look awesome I reckon. Just thinking I might need to get some more posts because I don't think I'll have enough. I might need to get another bundle. This duck pond, what we call the duck pond, it's not very big, but it was originally dug as an effluent pond way back when my grandfather did it. And they had a spring and it filled up with water and there's been water in it ever since. A lot of ducks come in here at duck shooting time. But it'll it'll look much better if we do fence it and plant it properly. Shot back and grabbed the rest of the strainer posts. Doug's almost finished up there now. It's a couple of hours later. He's gonna come down and have a little look because he's gonna make a start in the morning. And I might just drop a couple of these where he wants them. Save some having to do it. We're like there. I'll use one of these smaller ones for. The next corner, I think. Although it is a 90 degree turn, so maybe I'll have to put another strainer in there. Let's see what Doug reckons. I've put a strainer there. Do I need a big strainer for this corner, or will I get away with one of these smaller ones? Probably a big one. Yeah, it's quite I yeah. I think that's the. There's two on the tractor. Yeah, and I've got yeah. probably six on here, maybe. Do you reckon we could maybe put another angle in here somewhere? Oh, yeah. I'd just try and get some, move that sort of that way. Just try and get a little bit back. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you could probably go, yeah, I don't know, somewhere like that. It's all finished up for the day now though. And look at that, isn't it looking pretty sharp? Oh, that looks fantastic. Got to clean up a few posts and whatnot. I just didn't really get around to it today or didn't get time. This fence here looks way better. Nice straight lines. Went for a five wire. Originally we put four on and then I saw the bottom and I was like, oh, calves could get under that. They go and lie down and then the next thing they're in the race. So chucked five wires on. It wasn't too hard to add an extra one. Too hot, but that looks... 
that looks absolutely amazing, I reckon. This gate, though, is just going to be so handy. And we've tied a bit of wire up in between there for the cows in the morning. But I forgot to order a gate, actually. But that gap there is 4.9. Uh, is it 4.9? 3.9? 4.9, maybe. And you can get a gate that fits in there and it'll butt up to this post, I think, measured up to about there's 4.9. So that'll work out really good. Doug's going to pick that up on the way through in the morning though and so we don't have to put like a, another post in there for the for the gate to butt up against but oh, I'm, I'm amazed. I reckon that's come up really good. Taking a whole day but fantastic I think. It would be nice to get the drains finished up, tidied off tomorrow which might do. It should be fairly straightforward there because we're putting a new fence line instead of having to pull old posts out and muck around with little things. So I think that'll be pretty straightforward. It's only three wire two. We're going to go two hot wires up the top and then the bottom one's going to be uh, not hot just because you know if, if grass grows up or plants grow up they're not sort of shorting it out. And then, well that's my plan anyway. If we get that done tomorrow and then we can just do little jobs like that new crossing. I've sort of got to put posts in there. That can be sort of Thursday morning. I've also got my QCONS shed inspection tomorrow for Fonterra, so hopefully I pass that. It is a little bit busy, busy at the moment. There's uh, there's quite a few things on this week, uh, but that's alright, it's nice to be busy, I, I guess. Uh, so yeah, hopefully pass that. I feel a little bit underprepared, mainly because it was scheduled for like three weeks ago and then it got postponed, and I'd done everything ready for it, and then I sort of haven't looked at it again for tomorrow, but I'm, I'm hoping it should be pretty sweet. It normally is. Dad went and got me another load of furt this afternoon, so I'm going to chuck this on tonight, get it spread. I'm using phased, I think it's called phased in, so what's in here is just nitrogen and the reason it looks so yellow is because it's got sulphur. A lot of sulphur, a little bit of calcium and nitrogen. Putting this on at 100 kilos to the hectare, it is pretty big, like there's big chunks in here. I didn't realise it kind of looked like this, so <laughs> had a little bit of a problem calibrating the spreader. Comes with like a shaker box, so you sort of put one end of it in the fertilizer and then you shake it through into the other sections, the three other sections, and then you see what uh, sort of percentage wise is in each one of the quarters. And you add that into your app, you also put the weight of, it gives you like a tube that you weigh it in, put that in, and then it gives you a recommendation of other fertilizers, which are pretty similar, but there was nothing that was in the sort of range of, of that stuff, so, I had to use winter wheat which was kind of similar and dad put on, uh, what did he put on, a tonne and a half yesterday and it worked out to sort of roughly about that 15 hectares so it may not be exact but I don't think it's too far off. Some of these chunks are really big, look at that. That's quite a big chunk of sulphur. Lucky I got those extra set of uh, hungry boards too because it's kind of nice knowing that, I know it's a little bit away from the top there, but it's nice knowing that it's not gonna go over, that's for sure. You can see it's drawing out from the middle, so that's good. What a beautiful evening though. It's a shame about my windows. <laughs> I really need to clean them, I can't see too much out of them. There's not too much light left though. Be getting dark pretty soon but the sulfur makes a bit of a mess it's quite dusty there's not too much left in there i might just do one more paddock this one right here and then i'm going to call it a night then i'll get the rest of it on in the morning dad can shoot into town again get me a couple of loads or get one load it'd be nice to get two on if we got two on that would be four or six tons total and we'd be getting pretty close to getting most of it done. He's away again in the weekend and it would just be nice to, to finish this job this week. But that'll pretty much wrap things up for this video. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. Awesome changes that are happening up there. I can't wait to get all the fencing done though. It's just, 
it, it's so rewarding I think it's such a rewarding job once you once you can look back on it and think oh it just looks so much better but I'll see you next time